The trial of former Navy captain at Guantanamo Bay is winding down in Jacksonville, but prosecutors dropped a bombshell on John Nettleton today. Nettleton is charged with obstructing the investigation to the death of Christopher Tour. Tour's body was found floating in the waters off the base January 2015. The men had a fist fight hours earlier. Nettleton allegedly never told investigators about the fight or his affair with Tour's wife. Today, prosecutors called a surprise witness, a woman they say was the last person to see Tour alive. On your side, Ann Schindler was in the courtroom and has a closer look for us. It was Captain John Nettleton himself who spotted a familiar face in the courtroom gallery last Thursday, a woman who lived on Gitmo when Christopher Tour died. Nettleton's attorney says they reached out to her and that she is now willing to testify she saw Tour after his fight with Captain Nettleton. Defense attorney Colby Vokey told the judge our jaw dropped. Although Nettleton is not accused in Tour's death, the question of what happened to him after the two men fought remains a troubling mystery. As Tour family attorney John Phillips explains. As my mom used to say, a liar is a liar is a cheat's a cheat. And, and you know, we, we have this systemic lying by Nettleton. He, you know, may not have been complicit with the death itself. That's a separate question. But with the cover up of the death, uh, with lying. Judge Timothy Corrigan has said he will allow the woman to testify, but will first require her to provide a preview of her testimony known as a proffer. Monday's proceedings also included the medical examiner, who said Tour suffered four broken ribs prior to his death and that his blood alcohol level was roughly five times the legal driving limit. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. Now, it's not clear if Nelton will take the stand in his own defense. Nelton could face up to 100 years in prison if convicted of all eight counts against him.